Uh, well, I don't know if you were in there or you saw it when you know, they're all going on from, that, from the pot that we're in, pot C. Every, I think all of us who hadn't been drawn thought we were going to get with Holland and Germany. And there was a, a sigh of relief. Not from me, I laughed. I just thought it was going to be, I thought it was a certain. I'm thinking, when, back when we qualified for the World Cup, we had Portugal and Holland. Everybody wrote us off for that and we, we didn't lose against any of them. And we ended up qualifying. So, you know, whichever group we're in, we're going to have to take it. But I think everybody's slightly relieved. I think that's a bit premature. And I think when you've got Switzerland in the group, who are, I think, one of the best teams in Europe at the minute, and Denmark, who've been our nemesis, knocked us out of the Euros and then beat us in the Nations League, it's not going to be easy. <coughs> and Switzerland, the team, you last face, Mick, and it's kind of ironic that you're going to see it is. I, I didn't lose too many competitive games at home in, at Lansdowne Road, and that was the last one. So that was a disappointing way to leave, but uh, it gives me a chance of revenge, doesn't it? Denmark, of course, familiarity sometimes breeds contempt, but with Denmark, a lot of respect. Well, I guess it would have to be for them to, to have contempt for us, wouldn't it? And, and if, if they have, then that would be a mistake by them, but I doubt very much that will be the case. Georgia always one of these teams have been going away from home they're a tricky proposition well I know we've played them in, in, recently and uh, I was chatting to Kev Kilban with him and he, he said uh, what a good side they were and you know, I, th I think that was probably one of the toughest ones out of pot four but then we missed Azerbaijan which you know we, we end up with uh, Gibraltar look it's the, the group we've got I could talk about them it's, it's no point we've got to play them all and I'm looking forward to it feels like I'm doing the job now because we've got something tangible, not just, oh, you're doing the job, but there's nothing going. At least I know what teams are, I can watch the players, I can watch their past games and uh, and just get down to planning, yeah. The importance of not, I suppose, not losing the first game, the fixture that's being drawn up today, do you have any preference, obviously, would you like to open maybe with a, with a home a home match? Uh, I've been giving that some thought and just, uh, you know, what do you want? Do you want a game that you can... Any game that you think you may, maybe that you can win, and everybody, if that's the case, going to be looking at the last team in Gibraltar. But what happens if we go there and it's on the plastic pitch? Who knows? Um, I'd like a full house there. I'd love to it to be a big game. And at the moment, I think there's just there's a bit of positivity come back to it. If we get a get the crowd behind us, it'd be great. If we could win the first game, it'd be vitally important.